Hey there, fellow productivity enthusiast, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about project management and why it's so important to have a project management system into your productivity arsenal. Now, maybe you think that project management sounds like something that only big corporations or teams need, right? But it's not like that. Whether you are a student, a freelancer, or even a stay-at-home parent, Project management is the secret ingredients that can supercharge your productivity and propel you towards success. At the end, you simply need to think of a project as a set of tasks that you need to complete to accomplish the final result. Today, I will show you an example on how you can create a content creation management system in Obsidian by using the project's community plugin. But first, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. And now, let's get started. The first thing to do is to think about the structure of our note and create a template based on it. I personally use Templator for that, and if you don't know what Templator is, check out my video about it, I will leave the link in the description down below. An example could be the publication of a YouTube video. So, let's go to create our new note template, YouTube video template. And inside it, I want to write some properties that will help us to better organize information about the notes. So, for example, I like to insert the creation date of my note at the very beginning. And to do that, I insert the created field. And inside it, I write this templator command into double square bracket so I can create an internal link. And inside them, I will write the minor than sign, the percentage sign and then tp.date.now and inside brackets i will specify the format for my date for me is this one here and at the end i will just write the percentage sign and the greater than sign then i want to create a tag field where i can write something like content slash YouTube. This means that the notes I will create will belong to the content tag, but more specifically to the YouTube sub tag. For example, you can also have a template for your articles and tag for that notes can be content slash article. It's still a content, but this time it's about an article. Basically, it's the same concept of folders and subfolders. After that, I like to have a topic field that I set as list field, where I specify what the video is about. Then a video status field with a default value of inbox, because when I create my note, I want to see it in my inbox. We will add more values for this field, but we will see how when we will set the project's plugin. Now I can add a to publish field, that I set as date field, that it's useful if I want to schedule my future videos. A published field, where I write the internal link to the daily note of the published date, once the video will be published, of course. Then I like to have a cover field, where I put my thumbnail, so it can show up in my gallery view that we will see with the project's plugin. And lastly, the video URL field, where I write the link to my published video. Now that the properties are finished, one thing that I really like to add is a script that will ask me how I would like to title my note and use the title I insert as H1 heading for my note. So I write this script right under the property section. We've almost finished. We just need to add some sections inside our note to help us through the process of the script for our video. For example, I like to divide it into four sections, brain dump, video script, thumbnail, and social media. Inside my brain dump, I can add a couple of subsections like headline ideas and video ideas. Basically, here I want to jot down anything that I can think of. In my video script, I can have some subsections like introduction, 
content, final thoughts, and call to action. Under the thumbnail, I insert my cover image. And lastly, inside the social media section, I like to prepare a message that I will use to share the video on social media. Now, let's create a folder videos that will contain all the notes about our YouTube videos. Okay, and we just create a couple of them, but first I need to specify the folder template so I can automatically apply the template to any notes I will create inside the videos folder. And to do that, we just need to go to settings, templater, and here we just add our folder videos and we choose the template YouTube video template. So let's create our first note, new note. Here I write the title, first video. And here we go, you have your first video note with your structure. And here you can see the link to the daily notes of today, of course, uh, the tag, the topic we can add, I don't know, Obsidian, PKM, and here the video status. To publish, here we can set that we want to publish it on this date the published field, the cover, and the video URL that we will set later. Now, let's create another one, new note. This is another video. Topic, we can say Obsidian, we can say Project Management, and we can schedule these to the 29th of November, and we are good to go. So now it's time to see the projects plugin. And if you don't have it already installed, go to settings, community plugin, browse and search for projects, install, enable, and you are good to go. Now to open it, you just need to click here on project, open projects. And here on the top left, you will have a plus button create a new project. You can give it a name. I will call it YouTube and I choose the folder where I store my video notes. Create project. And here the first view that you have is a table view. You can double click here and rename it. All videos. So here I will see all the video notes I will create. Here you can choose which fields to hide. For example, you don't want to see the path, the cover, the created field, and the tags in your table view. You can reorder them. So maybe you want the topic here, the statuses here, and then you want to switch these two. Now in video status, if you go to the three dots here in configure field, you can add options. And for example, I just want to see inbox. I want the scripting, recording, editing, to publish. And published. So basically, these are the steps that you need to complete to publish your video. Now, I can use these statuses to create a Kanban board view. So I can click here on the Add View button, choose the board view, name it YouTube Studio. And as status, I want to see the video status. Let me close it. 
And now I can easily track the process of the video by simply drag and drop the notes here. Now, another thing that projects allows me to do is to create a calendar view. So if I click here on the plus button, I click on calendar and I call it scheduled videos, add view. Now, if you remember, let me open the note here. We set the to publish date to 21st of November. Now, if I go to projects and I change the view from week to month, as you can see, I already see my scheduled videos here in the calendar. Now, one important thing to do is to add a filter. So I click here on filter, add condition, and I want to set that when the video status is not published, I want to see the notes in the calendar. Now, the last view I want to create is a gallery view, but first let me add a thumbnail to my note here. I just prepared one of my old one and just copy paste the name of the file inside the cover field. Now let's go back to the projects. And if I click here on the plus button, I choose gallery and I name it published video. Basically here, I want to see all the video that I published. And here on cover, I set the cover as field to choose. And as you can see, I already see my thumbnail inside my gallery view. Now I just want to see the videos that have been already published. So I just need to add another filter here, add condition, and I just need to set the video status is published. Now, if I go back to the YouTube studio, I can take the first video and put it on published. And as you can see here on the calendar view, you don't have the notes anymore. And if I go here on published video, I have my video here in the gallery view. And that's all for today, my friends. Remember, with the right project management system in place, there is no limits to what you can achieve. Make sure to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and join my Discord server where I share more productivity, PKM and not taking content. You will find all the links in the description down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.